Hello, 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 everyone. So I can't make it into a live, maybe later, but not today. Um, so I am coming in to do a three card spread for you today um, because the, we have some crazy energy happening. We also have some crazy weather happening, some weather patterns that's happening. So these weather patterns are all tying into our own energy, our emotions. Um, a lot of things are happening. But there is some supercharged energy also coming in here. So there is that beginning of like new beginnings and things unfolding and beautiful things. I'm just trying to decide what cards. And you're going to hear crazy Sid snoring behind me. My little Yorkie, one of my little Yorkies. My old girl with her haircut because we thought spring was coming and winter has hit big time here. So three cards very quickly i am pulling out for the three cards of where we've been where we are what we need to be doing right now and where we are headed we have two major arcanas one is in reverse so i'm going to um pull the fourth to um and then to the bottom okay so our underlying condition is change your life that's the underlying that's what the Big thing is right now is changing our lives. And this is Radley Valentine's deck of, um, used to be Radley and Doreen, the Archangel Power Tarot. This is the original deck when they first came out. And so the underlying of this is telling us a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunity that change brings. And so we are, so you can become a witness to this energy. So what we're being told is to become an observer, a witness to the experiences or the opportunities that, that these times show us. So these energies and these times that we, that we are here to be a part of can teach us a lot of things or can give us an opportunity to really truly grow and expand our own capability or our own sense of self in big ways. What we're getting is the past, you know, there is some dramatic energy um, and that you may have been told your whole life. So the past card comes up as the King of Gabriel, Gabriel, lean into the one side. And I just get this whole sense of um, told you so, which I mean, all of us that are prophetic, that really truly have been giving prophetic messages, being prophets of, of those, of the, forecasting those future events, um, what could unfold, what is possible, all the way back to say 1800s. Like these have been 1900s, like early, I don't say 19, I just keep getting like 1916, I don't know why, and 1936. So we, I don't know what those dates represent, but I know there's something that goes with them. I'll have to research that, but keep your eye on the big picture. Leave the details to others experience that leads to success and genuine concern for others. And so, you know, we've, we've pretty much have been very caught up in, in waiting for the world to change somehow. Like that's been the energy. It's like, if they, if the government does something different, or if people do something different, or if something different happens. So it's almost like we're waiting, you know, that whole journey of waiting for change to take place in order for you to be happy, content, at peace, hasn't happened not going to happen so it's like and and what we're being told is there's always been this inspirational this heads up energy not to cause us fear or fright but to get tell us to be prepared for these times and to prepare ourselves for these times and many have not been prepared because we did we have this assumption assuming that you know things will all work out or things will all be okay because we live in a first world country. But just because we live in a first world country doesn't mean everything is always going to be first, first class in a first world country, right? Sometimes we are scraping the bottom of the barrel in our emotions and in our life and in our journey and our bank accounts and all of those areas. And so you may be feeling that, and but there's this energy that just keeps saying, there's something, if you're looking at your life, there's something that's always been driving you forward. There's always been this driving force. Well, that driving force has not gone. That driving force did not leave. That is our innate. That is our connection to our, 
our, I mean, our God force, to that God consciousness, to our virtue itself, to the soul connection, to something that, you know, to that soul journey of that, that light being that know they, that knew it arrived for the journey, telling you that, you know what, I know, I know ahead of time what this journey is supposed to be for you. I knew we we're going to experience this. I knew this was going to happen. And so that's always been there. The next card that comes up is in the right now. So we're in, this is 11. So this is strength and we're stepping into the master number. And what we're being told right now is that this is an opportunity for us, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. This is an opportunity for us to step into that place of strength. Also coming up with Archangel Ariel and see, we have beautiful peace and then we have a big lion and Ariel is you know, cloaked around her lion, her animal energy. There's so much for us to learn from animals, from the, um, from the pack, from being a part of a pack, from working together, but also about our primal instincts. And we're being told that a sense of our healed primal instincts to know what is real fear and what is fear mongering is a, is a big difference. And so if we're fear mongering ourselves, if we see ourselves as not capable we will not be able to achieve the things that we always knew that we've always been doing. We've always been getting, we've always been getting through difficult times. We've always been getting through hard times. We've always been able to come through some of the most difficult times. Now it's time to pull up that innate ability, that part of you that you see yourself at the, when you make those difficult choices. And to know that that's present. And it's not the first time we've spoke about this. We keep repeating that little bit to you because we want you to remember that version of yourself that had a strength you didn't know you had, that had a courage you didn't know you had, that had confidence to, to you know, sometimes you got to take that breath and just be confident. And if you feel like you've been losing that confidence, feel like you've been slipping, all of that has been playing out for us. So remembering where that it does exist within you it, it does not exist outside of you. It exists within you and you need to call upon it because if something on the outside is to bring you temporary satisfaction, it will always be temporary. The next card that comes up is in that future. And this is the wheel. It is in reverse. This comes with new beginnings and this is, and this is Archangel uh, Jamel. And so we have this sense of in the upright, we'd be new beginnings, ends of delays. So there's something that's delaying our process. And that is truth and honesty, integrity, being able to rise up and above the problems to see these solutions. And so here's Archangel Michael. And the problem is we have not been calling in Archangel Michael. And so you have not been calling in the troops. You've not been calling in the guides and asking for help and asking for, it's almost like we've been trying to battle this on our own or trying to make things or trying to, you know, pray in that things will just kind of dissipate and disappear. Um, but now we're being told to, you know, that we have to really truly review these soul contracts that we've made with the low, with the lower emotional self, with those previous experiences that we've been in some sort of bondage and held hostage to our emotional uh, to that emotional self, to the physical body, to the mind body. And now we are coming into that commitment with the spiritual body to be more aware of the light and to start calling ourselves home, calling ourselves back, even the parts of you you've yet to meet. This beautiful owl that is behind is the great wisdom. When we allow our higher self, when we allow the guides, we allow the angels to when we open up the space for the angels to connect, we allow in beautiful wisdom that will help us be able to find that strength to connect. But we're here to now to step into master energy, to step into leadership, to become the stewards of, of the earth, to be, uh, to know that we are the, we're the ambassadors, we're the leaders, the animals need us. The mother earth needs us to do our part that works in alignment to her. And that doesn't always mean to, and I'm, I know not everyone's going to agree with this, but doesn't mean always to be on the bandwagon of the big activist of this is what, not the fear mongering of, of climate change. I'm not saying that we don't need to make, the, make changes, but there's a lot of money invested in pushing agendas. And you have to remember that a lot of money in pushing agendas. 
And there's a lot of things that are very natural, very much created from Mother Earth that still that still are here. And if we if we're not careful, if we get caught in that ego, remember what you want comes at a cost. And when what you getting what you want cost everyone else everything, are you can you live with that sometimes, right? So that's coming up for us. And to really pay attention to this, and I was speaking about this, you know, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, really truly pay attention because think about it. If you are living somewhere where you, if you're living somewhere where you're not aware of, you know, how the economy runs based on one resource. Well, if that resource is taken away and you're all for having that resource gone, then you're also supporting the poverty, the, uh, the, the total dismantling, the, um, the financial support that comes into schools, to sports, to supporting the community is now gone. And so, and then we have the unemployment. So we have people unemployed, we have people, and it's not just so simple to just go get another job. So we, so in getting that want, when, when you're led by the conviction of your fears and the conviction of one perspective, and truly coming from that place, there is something that there's a, there's an effect of that, right? So there's a ripple effect and being a part of that, of that conviction and taking such a strong hold to it is you also are then playing your part and you are a participant and a part and you are connected and responsible for the for the other side of that and can you hold that can you or do you turn a blind eye and say oh i won i won i got what i wanted but you'll turn the blind eye to the emotional physical welfare of humanity that exists in these areas and it's something to really truly think about right now to really pay attention to that because that narrative that that fighting for people for companies and people that you have never met you don't know and taking away from our own from fellow humans from the everyday person you have to really contemplate those choices and decisions because you got to be willing to look back sometimes and so this is where this is Archangel Michael is being very blunt, very, very blunt, very honest with this. They're not telling us that we need to do this. Mother Earth is not saying this. We are being told that we can all do our part and be gentler and kinder and, and like ultimately, why are we selling bottled water, right? Like there is areas where why are we putting water in? When did we decide that putting water in plastic bottles was going to be a good idea and sell it? And why is nobody stopping that? But you're going to stop other things, right? So there's, you know, it's like, where, where do you turn the blind eye? And it's time for us to open our eyes, open our heart, to look a little bit deeper at what we're on such conviction for, what we're fighting for, but also to look inward, bring that into ourselves and look into us and think now, bring that into a small scale. Where am I on such a mission and such a conviction to, you know, that I'm using my strength and my power and my so-called shadow confidence to, to be right or to be in charge or to, to bulldoze my way or to be driven in a specific direction that may not be um, in alignment to what your true self is asking of you. So there is this, and with that, then, you know, we have a stalemate. We need to work in that flow. We need to be a part of this. And so we have King of Gabriel, and over here, then we have 10, which is trans, which is five, five transformation. So we, you know, here we are in a ending and a beginning. And so there is some beautiful changes, but focusing on our own personal life where we have toxic inside of our energy within us, where we have, you know, toxic thoughts and toxic 
response and actions that are that are being played out where we can now start cleaning up our own spillage of of words and harshness that we may have spilled out judgment criticism uh canceling people all of that stuff that we can now start to that we should now start looking in and really truly challenge ourselves to open our minds open our hearts and be able to listen start to really review those places where you've been bonded to the loyalty to a cause that that you cannot see beyond that you can't have a engage in a beautiful conversation and the owl wisdom is telling us it is time for us to look deeper time for us to clean up our own our own home our own temple time for us to let go of the toxic unhealthy energies that we hold in our judgment and our criticism it is time for us to we want to be at if we want to see peace we have to be peace and and for us to be peace is that we have to make peace with our past and this is where forgiveness comes in this is where um gaining new perspectives come in and this is where being truthful and honest comes in and archangel michael says do you honestly think that you're all more powerful than us that uh, when we decide that things will be you know when they're at that point of pulling in that strength and that courage that strength to do the things that need to be done it happens and so um take care of you do you and do you as well as you can and and clean up clean up your own act right now uh clean up your own energy clean up your own life clean up the loose ends because there's no you know there's no going back and going going forward do you want to be living the same repeat as you've been living before and so if you want to see change now's the time to make the change that's what the energy is get the changes made i know we've spoke about this many times but they're bringing it back in again and they're just saying pay attention listen to yourself look a little bit deeper and um yeah the self-awareness and being you know, so self-absorbed in your own fear stories can sometimes lead to, lead you in places that are where the self-righteousness to be right is greater than to do the right thing. And so sometimes what you think is the right thing is more about self than it is about people, about the people around you. And so you, sometimes you got to think bigger. This is time for us to coexist, for us to live together and to do things from that place. So I hope that resonates with you. I hope it makes sense to you. Um, much, much love. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And this is being recorded on a snowstormy day. Um, and on the 19th, I think, yeah, on Tuesday, the 19th of, of April, 2022, for anyone who's watching a few years down the road, because these videos stay in YouTube, they, they all just go in there. And so whenever you're listening to it, then this is, you're listening to it at the right time for you. Archangel Michael is with us. Archangel Gabriel is pushing us forward to move beyond our past. Archangel Ariel is calling in that primal instinct with love and coming into that place of discovering our true self-confidence and also to be able to understand the power of forgiveness. Uh, animals don't hold grudges, neither does the divine. Uh, we're the only ones that hold those grudges. We're the only ones that judge each other to such a good degree that we will create enemies and we'll shred each other in the, in the need to just have that conviction to be right, to belittle someone. And that's not, that's not a fine quality of us as humans. And it's time for us to be the change in those areas where we need to start to be. And, you know, and so the wheels of change is if we want a new beginning, we have to let go of all of the old energy that is no longer serving us. Much love. See you soon. Bye-bye.